You already know who it is, it's Obelisk. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to basically utilize her steals and... Bro, what are you doing? I'm making the 21. No, no, I don't care about none of that. Get back to work on the Nerf Cooler video. Man, nah, roll intro. Yeah, yeah. I'm with first thing. Ignoring that jackass, let's get into it. In this video, I will be teaching you all about her steals. First up, we have her Kamehameha and Solar Flare. Now, you can get these from any Earthborn San or Earthlings like Goku and Gohan. As you can see right there. Now, these are utilized in a variety of different ways. Kamehameha on the ground and in the air is literally just the same as any other Kamehameha. Thing is, though, Solar Flare can be used in the air, though. And it's omnidirectional. What we have here is a basic use of our Kamehameha and Silver Flare at the beginning of the round. Now, if you can see how much damage this does, yeah, you can see why I like to use it at the beginning of the match. Because it tends to chunk large amounts of health. Moving on. Next up, we have her Yellow Seals, which you can get from basically any sand is not Earth, like a Nerfling, considered an Nerfling, like Vegeta and his family, or Broly, even Kefla. Her first steal is basically Vegeta's assist, Super Saiyan Vegeta's assist. What was so special about her second steal, though, her grab is the oh, fact no. that it works as an anti-air in the air, and it does a lot of damage if you manage to hit it raw, like so. This is why this GT Goku got obliterated, got anti-aired by her grab. Next, we have our green steals, which basically you get from any android, any android at all. Yes, even you as well, 21. I get out of here. What's so great about these, though, is they're, I usually mainly use them for defense, like <laughs> her barrier. Her barrier is great for catching people that like the super dash a lot and punishing them. Moving on, we have her purple seals. Now, these you can get from any alien, like Kid Boo, his line, Janemba, Jiren, Beerus, stuff like that. Now, what makes these steals so great is the fact that you can use them in a lot of setups. Or you could use her Vanish to basically counter somebody. Now it's time to show you how I like to use her orbs that you get from aliens. Now after you get the dragon rush off, if you throw the orb, it can knock them out the well, knock your opponent out the corner. And from that, you can get a cross up since it pushes them out. Now in the same setup though, they can reflect. But what I should have did here was utilize my vanish and go behind him to bait out the uh, second reflect. Next up, I have the third setup that utilizes assists in order to make sure they can't reflect after the orb is out. And you can still get the cross up since it pushes them out. And they decide to block. Well, you saw me go for another grab to get the grounded orb. Moving on, we have some solar flare setups for you. So, since I already stole the first Solar Flare in the air, I'm not able to get another one off. Since I get th can't get that off, I can use it again to basically guarantee the Solar Flare mix-up. Guarantee a high low from the Solar Flare. Now, they can't do anything to counteract it. If they try to counteract it, they're going to get hit. So, from this though, you can get a high or low mix-up. You need to go high or you need to go low. And they can't do anything about it. They have to take it. Alright, so thank you for watching this part of the video part of the guide. Uh yeah, and the next one I'll I'll be going over the advanced combos. I've been putting that off for entirely way too long. So uh yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh Bro, there is no next time. Work on the nerf cooler. You can't ignore Yes I can.